Eric, Louisiana, Leo Laporte, or is it L.A.? One or the other. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Eric. Oh, God, I, I didn't think Co Come not. on over to the phone. It's you, Eric. I, I apologize. Eric in L.A., come on down. Yeah, thank you. Hey, um, Leo, I want to be able to protect a PDF, a larger file, about like 120 pages or so. And what I don't want people to do that I send it to is um, augment it or send it off yes. to others. Yes, And um, there's so many applications and companies out so there. There's two. That's two different goals. Augment it means you you want to send a file out that they can't modify. That is a, that's what they call a protective PDF. And every PDF creator, including of course Adobe Acrobat, will create a PDF that can't be modified. And that's for legal reasons. That's exactly what you want. If you're sending a contract out, you want to send it out and know it's returned as is with the signature. Um, there, but you there's a second goal you had, which is that they can't send it to somebody else. Yeah, okay, so I guess they, they conflict. If no, they I, don't, no, they don't conflict, but it's just a different technique. Right, di different request. Yeah. I guess if I was to uh, have a choice, it would be the latter. It, I, I, would not, I would like it to stay where I send it and not be able to, uh, to move it around. It's just to, pretty uh, difficult to ensure that unless you know you have the cooperation of the recipients. Yeah. So if the recipients can be trusted, you can, get, you can encrypt the PDF with a password, give it to them, and then not fear that it somehow gets lost because only people with a password will be able to read it. But if you don't trust the recipients, even if you go through all sorts of technological things, there's nothing to stop them from putting the PDF on the screen, taking a picture with their camera phone, and posting that. Right. So that and that's impossible to stop. Okay. So if they can read it, they can disseminate it. You can only keep it from being disseminated with their cooperation, in other words. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So if that's your goal, then just password protect it. You could you could even use a zip program and use a password in the you know when you create the zip the, the, the squeezing program and there are lots of those available for all platforms and just say specify a password. It will encrypt it. Only the people who know the password can read it. That would be sufficient to protect accidental loss. Okay. And then any distiller, you'll be able to check a box that says protected because that's a big part of what PDFs do, which is if I'm sending a contract out, I don't want it to be surreptitiously modified and then sent back to me. Right. Okay, two different worlds, but I understand them both now better. I appreciate your moments. Thank you're very, you. You're very welcome. Uh, Adobe Acrobat will do that. It's an expensive product. If you do this a lot, it's probably the one to get. There are a lot of other third parties. I really like Foxit, F-O-X-I-T. They make similar PDF creators. They also offer protection. And I bet you, and I'm pretty sure this is the case, both uh, Fox at F-O-X-I-T and uh, Adobe uh, will uh, allow you to also password protect it so that it can, I'm, I'm sure of it in fact, that, so that only the intended recipients can read it. That protects you against the scenario where you email it, but as you know, email's like a postcard. Anybody along the way can read it and if, uh, you know, and it goes through multiple servers. So if there's some malicious server halfway there, it goes, hey, I'd really like to know what Eric is sending out. Unless you password protect it, uh, they could read it. Um, but again, you can't, it's the same problem with music, sharing files and stealing DVDs. At, at the point at which it becomes unencrypted and visible, a bad actor, including the recipient, can then share it. At, at the very least, just take a picture of the screen.